let's say we have an electric field which uh, dies off as uh, 1 over the radius, so r to the minus 1 in spherical coordinates. Um, we have an r hat, and then we have some constant here that makes it an electric field. So let's imagine, let's, let's find, uh, let's find the total charge inside of a sphere centered at r equals zero of radius capital R. Okay, so what is Q or Q total inside that sphere? Okay, so we, we can do this in uh, different ways. So uh, we could use Gauss's law, right? So Gauss's law says that the integral of the electric field over a closed surface is equal to the charge inside divided by epsilon naught. So the charge inside here would be epsilon naught times that, right, so this would be Q enclosed, or in this case, Q total. Maybe we should write, uh, well, that's Gauss's law, right? So, uh, I mean, we, that's, that's the thing that we want. Our Q total is the Q enclosed. Uh, and so we have to do this calculation. So let's integrate the electric field on the surface of the sphere, right? So we have epsilon naught, the electric field is a constant, uh, and, and we integrate over the surface, we get 4 pi times the radius squared. So 4 pi r squared for that, and then the electric field is C times uh, r to the minus 1, but it's uh, capital R to the minus 1, because we're evaluating it on the surface. And so we get uh, 4 pi epsilon naught C capital R. That's the total amount of charge that we get using Gauss's law. We could also do this um, by integrating the charge density, right, the charge density over the entire volume. Let's integrate that, right, but we need to have the charge density. And so that is related to the divergence of the electric field. And so we have epsilon naught, right, the differential version of Gauss's law. We integrate the divergence of the electric field over the volume. And that gives us um, right, epsilon naught, constant C, uh, one over R squared volume element. Um, but that is epsilon naught times C, um, let's uh, look at what this is. Epsilon naught divergence of electric field is epsilon naught over r squared d by dr of r times the radial component, which in this case gives us uh, epsilon naught over r squared times c. And so... Um, the volume ele element has an r squared in it here, so we end up dividing by r squared. So we just have dr times the angle uh, element here, sine theta, d theta, d phi, where we already know we get four pi from that. And so we end up with epsilon naught uh, c. We integrate r to get capital R times four pi. And so uh, four pi epsilon naught cr. We have the same thing. So we played around with the integral and the differential versions of Gauss's law uh, to get this result and basically show consistency.